today I've got a title which says marriage is a spiritual issue. My intention in this sharing is to try and look at the marriage from a spiritual perspective. I know there are other facets which are like the contextual side of marriage and the physical side of marriage. Well, those topics, we're going to reserve them for some other time. But today we want to look so much into the spiritual aspect of marriage. Because I personally believe that the original intention or the original marriage from the Bible actually started in the spiritual realm. If you read from the book of Genesis, chapter 1 from verse number 26 up to verse number 28 when God was creating men, he says, let us create men in our own image, in our likeness. The Bible says, when he created them, he created them male and female. It's only in chapter 2 when you hear that God took dust from the earth and then he breathed that which he had created and put it in a body. So the original person or the original people, they're actually the spiritual people. So the male and female, the ones that were in the image of God, because God is the invisible God, he is uh, the God whom we cannot see. We know that he is there, but we cannot see him, right? So if we cannot see him and we are aware of his existence, we know this, his existence is totally undeniable. If you just look around, you will see all creation. It actually shows that the creation has got a creator. The order that is there has got somebody who put that order. So it is an undisputable fact that God does exist. Well, this very same God then eventually talks to his collaborators. He says, let us create men in our own image. Then when, he, when, when, when the Bible does that, he says, the Bible actually says, he created them male and female. But in chapter 1, you don't see bodies. You, you, you hear of a mandate that was given to humanity. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, and subdue it. All those things are instructions that are given to mankind, that are given to human beings. But by then, you don't see a body. Only in chapter 2, you hear that God took dust from the earth. When you he took dust from the earth, he then gave that spirit, which was like him, a body. Because the Bible says he breathed into that body. And man became a living soul and then you also hear that eventually he took Abra, um, sorry adam's side and from that side came a woman when adam was in a deep sleep so you see now there are two people but originally you see spiritual people i hope you are understanding me now when i'm well what really matters is the spiritual relationship between the married people themselves and their spiritual relationship with God. Then their spiritual relationship against the devil. Those three spiritual relationships are very, very important. Spiritual relationship with God, spiritual relationship with each other, and the spiritual relationship against the devil. You know, I have been a pastor for more than 10 years now, and part of our ministry, uh, myself and my dear wife, we have been ministering deliverance for close to 20 years. Even before we were pastors, we have been doing evangelism and we have been preaching to various kinds of people. But what we have noticed is the devil doesn't change. The same devil you meet in a low-density suburb is the same devil that you meet in a farming community. It is the same devil that you meet in an informal settlement what you what some what others call squatter settlements all those settlements as long as you see the devil the devil doesn't change his colors one of his primary targets is a marriage marriage marriages they are so so under attack from the devils devils they don't want people to live happily in marriages they don't want people to get married they don't want people to think about marriage. To them, divorce is a normal thing. To them, domestic violence is a normal thing. To them, 
you know, late marriages is a normal thing. To them, spiritual husbands and spiritual wives, those are normal things. So today I just want to share a little, I know this can be exhaustive, but I just want to share a little about the spiritual aspect of marriage. Towned group of schools, a group of Christian schools with Christian values and principles. We have preschools, primary schools, high schools, and FET colleges. We are a fully fledged Cambridge school and CAPS curriculum. We offer engineering and business courses. We also offer matric rewrite opportunities. We have schools in Kempton Park, Runbeck, Johannesburg CBD, Jamestown, Pretoria, and Glendale, Mazoe, Zimbabwe. For more information, visit our website at www.towcity.com or call us on 011-975-2771 or send an email to info at Tau City. Recently, uh, God gave me a revelation. Well, I understand now a good and healthy marriage is like a foretest of heaven. And a terrible marriage, those who are in marriages, they will understand that it is a foretest of hell. When you are married, and you are living according to God's precepts. And you are doing your best and your spouse is also giving his or her best. Then marriage is a very beautiful thing. But if you are not allowing God or following his instructions, if you are not allowing him to do what he wants in that marriage, then that marriage is a foretaste of hell. Because the person who really affects you if you are in a marriage set up is your spouse. Your spouse comments, they can build you up. Your spouse comments, they can destroy you. Your, your spouse attitude can give you stress. A lot of people who were so much emotionally stable before they got married, they are now totally in a mess up emotionally because of their experiences during marriage. Well, I know there are a lot of psychologists who have written books. I want to thank God for them. I know there are sociologists, there are other teachers and pastors who have been teaching about marriages. We want to thank God for those seasoned preachers, those seasoned teachers. But, uh, you know, this is a very complex and vast institution, which I believe we, I can also bring in my input together with what they have. I think what we are actually aiming at is to eventually have happy families, is to eventually have marriages that are stable, is to eventually deal with whatever attack that is coming to marriages. So I want you to pay close attention to these spiritual issues that I'm going to bring about. When you are dealing with marriage, when you talk about marriage, like I said, it is a spiritual issue. The devil doesn't want us to talk about marriage as a spiritual institution. But why can't we talk about it as a spiritual institution? And yet, most of the demonic manifestations 
that are coming out, they are showing that young ladies and young guys were, were at a marrying age. Some of them, they have already gone past their 30s. Some, some are even in their 40s. Even in their 50s, some of them have never been married. But you hear such people saying, when I am asleep, something does come to me. It uses me. It abuses me sexually. I feel like I am having a man in my bed. I feel like I am having a woman in my bed. It means that these beings that are coming, they actually have a covenant. Several times when I was praying for young ladies who intend to get married, you see them taking off invisible rings from the covenant fingers. You see demons manifesting that way because they are, they'll be saying, this is my wife and this is my husband. You see this, uh, I am married to him. I am, I've got a covenant relationship with him. When you ask that young man, what sort of covenant have you been in? Or that young woman, what sort of covenant have you been in? She says, I don't know of any. But the spirits will be saying, the uncle has got a business. And this business is being sustained by the abuse that is happening in the spiritual realm. Some, some of the young people will actually have these spiritual operations. Eventually get a suitor or someone, a fiancé, who says, no, I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to endure this. I'm going to I'm going to make sure that I will go with you, no makanjani, I'll go with you, wire wire, I'll go with you because I love you. But they get into a marriage and that marriage, if we don't deal with the spiritual issues of that marriage, the marriage still becomes a very, very huge problem. I have heard of spouses who actually want to knife a husband whilst he's asleep. She says, whenever he's asleep beside me, I just want to take a knife. I want to stab him. I want him to die. Those things are happening. We might think yeah, the pastor is just telling stories, but maybe one of these days I'm going to bring some testimonies of people who have been rescued from spiritual marriages. So, you've been dreaming about a career in engineering, business, or IT. Townhood Group of Colleges is the place where your dreams will come true. With courses from N1 to N6 in business, IT, and engineering. We also offer opportunities for matric rewrite. And we have opportunities for grade R to grade 12. For more information, visit our website at www.towcity.co.za or give us a call at 011-975-2771. Your success is our success. Aka Jets was Satan. Aka Tauro. Unororek. Aka Jets was Satan. Aka Tumba Mosco so Mugara. Uno Mugara. Aka Jets was Satan. Aka Tausco so Bataman. Chai Pata. Aka Jets was Satan. Aka Tausco so Bataman. Urco so Bata. Is it a zona Jesu at his relatives? Drupu Koka to Weapanaba Six Wheel Street. But Divine Presence Sanctuary. Negatiripo, Mariva Chiratis, Achis Ratis, Anima Basa Makuru, or Satwa Pona, Shokora Marin Roti, Satuaponi, one is so, Satuapon, one is Zeve, Doshaka Gazi, Wala Nutin. Amen. Babuna Mata. Angie's Cakes provide just the right cake for your occasion. From birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, and corporate events. With eight years experience, we pride ourselves in making cakes of distinctions. All our cakes are handmade and professionally decorated using the finest ingredients. From decadent sponges to rich fruit cakes, we provide personalized themes to your specifications. For more information, call 078-455-8689 or send us an email at jmaraura at gmail.com a cake shed is love shed spiritual world is a very vast world it is so much complicated and the little that i know is not total but i have seen results coming uh, when, when when we're doing prayers R remember we are focusing on marriages some are married to marine beings Marine beings, they say, whenever I am asleep, I am taken into the ocean, I'm taken into the sea. I actually go there, literally, I see beings there. Some of them, they abuse me. So if you have got, you know, the, these very beautiful young ladies, very handsome young men, but they cannot have a stable relationship, it is because of the spiritual attacks that are coming 
to marriages because of these beings that come and abuse them because of these beings that come and say and demand that you are my wife normally it happens through what they are called familiar spirits familiar spirits they are people who have got some family issues in the demonic world and these familiar spirits they are appeased or they are entertained or they are paid through the soul of a person through the abuse of a child a nephew a niece or a cousin you know it happens i'm talking of african structures so when this young man very beautiful very educated is asleep this young lady she's asleep then she starts to experience some dreams some dreams of abuse some dream of sexual encounters this is because of what are called spiritual husbands now if somebody has got a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife it is very difficult for a physical husband or a physical wife to have a meaningful relationship this these spiritual husbands especially husbands because there there are lots of spiritual husbands they come and torment girls in our dreams for those of you who experience these things you know what i'm talking about they come and threaten the one who wants to get married to you they come and insult the one who wants to get married to you they come and oppress they come and suppress them in their dreams so it is a very very big issue here in africa and you see that businesses are being sustained by those beings you see that successes maybe careers maybe some some in some some activities that you have to do with fame some activities that you have to do with possibly political careers that begin to torment families so when 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 these beings come they begin to oppress the ladies they begin to oppress the young men and these are spiritual husbands and spiritual wives and the spiritual wives they can only be dealt with in only one way the only way to deal with spiritual husband and spiritual wife you deal with them through the name and the blood of Jesus you use what the scriptures say about spiritual oppression you apply scriptures like Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 which says uh, we are we don't wrestle against flesh and blood those spiritual husbands and spiritual wives these are a reality and the church and humanity we now need to take a stand against them the young men and the young women who really want homes are being oppressed by spiritual marriages and these spiritual marriages they are a threat to the physical marriages so if you have got a spiritual husband if you have got a spiritual wife the details that you are seeing on the screen you need to start getting in contact with us we need to start working on those issues we need to start praying about them we need to start dealing with them and i have noticed that these spiritual husbands and spiritual wives they do not respect culture every culture here in south africa no matter your religion no matter your culture these things they do come and they do oppress maybe you have been wondering what has been happening to me i am telling you there is a solution in jesus christ if you have got a spiritual marriage it can be destroyed in the name and the blood of jesus christ of nazareth i as i am preaching as i am teaching right now some people they actually feeling uncomfortable as you are seated you are beginning to to hate this program you want to switch it off but please don't switch it off because your solution is along the way jesus is the solution and we have to deal with the problem until god says it is finished Tonet group of schools a group of christian schools with christian values and principles we have preschools primary schools high schools and fet colleges we are a fully fledged cambridge school and caps curriculum we offer engineering and business courses we also offer matric rewrite opportunities we have schools in kempton park runbeck johannesburg cbd jamestown pretoria and glendale mazowe zimbabwe for more information visit our website at www.tauciti Tot see or don't zere or call us on 011 975 2771 or send an email to info at tau city 
Exclusive solutions provide IT supplies and support, laptop repairs, graphic and logo designs, PVC ID cards and t-shirt printing. We also print on mugs, caps and flyers. We also do IT and business courses, offer UNISA and VIS tutorials, web design and hosting services, search engine optimization and online marketing services. For more information, contact us on 011050-0643 or send an email to sales at exclusivesolutions.co.za. Thank you so much. Welcome back, viewers. For those of us who are already in marriage, and your marriage has got a lot of confusion, you and your spouse cannot discuss on any simple issue and bring it to rest. Maybe you are living a life that is so much harassed by bad dreams. Maybe you are trying to deal with your situations physically. You have tried to do researches. You have tried to talk about them. You have sought for counseling. You have tried this and that. I'm not undermining all those other professionals who are in these professional fields. But it's just not working. If it's not working, maybe you need to look at it from a spiritual perspective. The spiritual perspective is maybe the husband that you, you got married to has got a family line case that does not allow him to have a wife or that wants him to have as many wives uh, it's possible getting one, leave, go to the next one, leave, never enjoying one stable relationship. If that is the case with you, then you need also to apply the name in the blood of Jesus. Maybe the wife just doesn't feel like a mother, just doesn't feel like she wants to be at home. Maybe you are here looking at me, mommy, but you are saying, the husband that I'm married to, I just don't like him. In your dreams, you are having another husband. You feel like you get so much entertained by a certain relationship that doesn't even exist. It's because, this is because of spiritual attacks that do come to marriages. Now, when you have got such a situation, please don't delay. You need to look for spiritual help. Spiritual help for a spiritual problem. Otherwise, the marriage which God in his mind looked at the initial marriage and he said it is good it will, will, will come to naught will become terrible will become chaotic because of the devil's attack the devil wants homes to be destroyed he knows that if he destroys a home if he destroys a marriage set up then these marriage uh, families will become so depleted and the children that are being raised you know, some of them, they eventually become so rowdy. They become so rebellious because of bitterness. So all the people that are watching this program and you are on the verge of divorcing. God says, I hate divorce. He doesn't like divorce because he knows that in a depleted home, the children that are brought up from those homes they also have a disadvantage. So you need to work on your problem. You put your heads together and look for a spiritual solution. We are running workshops that couples are praying together. We are meeting. Sometimes the ladies, they meet on their own. Sometimes the men, they meet on their own. But sometimes we create what we call joint forces in which couples do pray together in the month of august we are planning a joint camp everyone is welcome this is a non-denominational thing it is mainly focused on the stability of homes because i have seen the devil do a lot of injustice to homes and it's only god who can give us solutions as far as homes problems are concerned we need to work together if your marriage is shaking, if your marriage is under threat from spiritual forces, if you see your husband behaving as if he has got a spiritual wife somewhere, maybe the spiritual wives, they also come from previous relationship. Maybe they have been involved 
with some prostitutes and they have created what are called soul ties. I'm going to teach about them. If you continue watching these programs, I'm going to teach one of these days about soul ties. But they are tied in the soulish realm to a spouse that they cannot now leave. They are clinging to that kind of relationship and you want those broken. You need the divine intervention. You need the supernatural intervention from the creator of heavens and the earth. It is high time, brothers and sisters, we start working on solutions to deal with problems because the devil is very restless. He doesn't want marriages to work. He doesn't want them to function. So for you today, if you are watching this program and you are saying, my marriage is in a turmoil, why don't you try Jesus? Why don't you try the name above each and every name? The Bible says he was given a name that is above each and every name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, if you have got a marriage and you have tried other solutions, you have tried other therapies, you have tried spending on your marriage, why don't you now introduce the supernatural aspect to your marriage? Contact us on the details that are coming on the screen. Give us a Facebook message. Send us a WhatsApp message. Send us a Twitter. Give us a call on the lines that are showing on the screen. And we start dealing with your spiritual problem. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. It is happening to a lot of people. And a lot of people's marriages are under threat. Sometimes we only see those threats when divorce is about to take place. When they are actually divorcing. Because they don't nip the problems in the bud. But today, I am recommending Jesus to your marriage. I need you to receive Jesus. I need you to introduce him to your marriage. Work on it. The Bible says, work your salvation out with fear and trembling. God bless you. If you have been watching and you are concerned about spiritual matters of your marriage, you want to get married, but you are fighting spiritual battles, or you are already in marriage, and you want God's intervention or God to supernaturally intervene into your marriage because of the spiritual matters that you have been facing. I want to be of assistance to you. I want you to address those spiritual issues, but maybe you don't know where to start. I want you to repeat after me. I want you to say this prayer together with me. But as you say it, make sure that you are speaking to God who is all hearing and understanding and ever ready to listen to your prayers. Repeat after me and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you with an understanding that marriage issues are spiritual issues. From today, oh God, I don't want to operate on my own when it comes to marriage issues. I plead the blood of Jesus into my marriage issues. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to guide me with my spiritual issues that have to do with my marriage. Lord Jesus, I ask for your supernatural intervention. Help me, O oh Lord. I declare that the devil is now under my feet and the power of the Holy Spirit is covering my life. I declare all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.